What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the politics and BS. Listen, guys, when I tell you I have a new level of respect for those either content creators or those who are in media and journalism where all they do is talk about politics and political news all the time because this stuff is extremely draining and stressful and if you don't take the time to recharge and when I say recharge I'm not just talking about sleep and rest but mentally recharging spiritually recharging because this stuff is just so toxic then you will not make it or some people's hearts are just so dark and it, 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 it just goes along with the territory. So all those people on Fox News, uh, Newsmax, One America Network, and what all, you know, all those other rabbit holes of talking about the deep state and all these other corrupt, crooked, conspiracy-laden things where they are so hell-bent on seeing Trump back in office then they just kind of go along with the territory because that's the world that they live in. The dark, the deep, but the conspiracies, all of that other stuff. But I, I, I had to take a break. And honestly, the break hasn't even been long enough, but I had to come and talk about some of these things. So as you know, I keep it brief. I'm going to be breaking these up. But I wanted to talk about Trump's response to Biden leaving the race. Because let's be clear. He wanted Joe Biden to stay in the race. Now, he can front and act like, oh, Kamala is no big deal. She's going to be even easier for me to beat. All he does is talk a big game of bravado and a sense of confidence. Like, he knows he always has everything in the bag. And then if he loses, it's only because someone cheated. He can never lose. Like, he takes that level of the thought of, you know, all I do is win no matter what mindset that could be just positive thinking to keep yourself inspired and to not quit and give up hope and to give up on your dreams and your desires in life. He takes that to the extreme level of toxicity. Yeah, you can lose. Actually, you did before. We know you didn't want to admit it. And to this day, you still say that the election was stolen, but you lost. All right. You lost. You lost to the person that was older and wiser. So he is not happy about the fact that Joe Biden has dropped out of the race. He just isn't. So I want to share the statement that he gave when he learned the news about Kamala stepping up to accept the nomination and Joe Biden bowing out. He says on his social media platform, which ironically is called Truth Social, when it's anything but truth that comes out over there, it's not over. Tomorrow, which is today, crooked Joe Biden's going to wake up and forget that he dropped out of the race today. (laughs) Crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve, and never was, exclamation. He only attained the position of president by lies, fake news, and not leaving his basement. All those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he wasn't capable of being president, and he wasn't. And now, look what he's done to our country, with millions of people coming across our border, totally unchecked and unvetted, many from prisons, mental institutions, and record numbers of terrorists, We will suffer greatly because of his presidency, but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly. MAGA. Anyway, he always does this stuff. He speaks the truth about himself and puts it on other people. He needs to say crooked Donald Trump was not fit to run for president and certainly not fit to serve and never was. He, Trump, only attained a position of president by lies, fake news, And relying on Russia to get him the votes and not leaving the golf course. All those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he wasn't capable of being president and he wasn't. 
Listen, I'm telling you, everything that he speaks negative about somebody else, it's usually the truth about himself that he will never admit. He can't even admit to screwing Stormy Daniels. We don't care that he did. We don't. But he wants to say this stuff over and over again to those mindless followers of his that put gauze on their ears to stand in solidarity with this person that wants to use that situation that happened at the rally, because that's what I'm going to call it, the situation that happened at the rally to milk the support and the sympathy of those people that follow him, no matter what. Because these people, they claim that they're Christians and God spared and saved Donald Trump. What about all the little children that have been slaughtered in these schools across the country that these people have pretty much forgotten about, didn't really give a damn about in the first place, and all they cared about is their Second Amendment rights? So Joe Biden stepping out, stepping down, he did the one thing that Donald Trump would never do, put the country first and put his pride to the side and concede. Donald Trump will never put the country first. He will never step aside and put his pride to the side and he will never concede. So if, and I will say when, Kamala Harris and whoever her running mate is going to be wins, do you think that he's going to go silently into that good night? The only way he's going to go silently is if he goes to sleep and God rests his soul and he never wakes up again. This man is going to be a nightmare until he takes his last breath. Like seriously. And that's one of the only reasons why I'm even talking about this political BS because I'm tired of hearing about him. I'm tired of talking about him. I'm not one of those people that wants to create content about him so that I can get views, clicks, likes, and make money. I would be so happy when we never have to talk about him ever again, except from the space of documentaries and some things that are written in history books, which I wouldn't even believe unless it's written in an actual book and not books that are going to be in schools because we know what they're doing with history in these schools. It's telling the story that they want to tell. So him saying all of these things in this social media rant, which was like really late, like this dude is nuts. He's absolutely crazy. There is not a believing bone in his body when it comes to the true and living God and Jesus Christ, Muhammad, Buddha, whoever else. He believes he is a deity, a God, and he wants people to worship him. And that is why it is so disgusting to me when I see all of these so-called alleged Christians backing this man who is an idol. And he wants those people to bow down and worship him. The man that said he's never had to ask God for forgiveness because he doesn't believe he's ever done anything wrong. You know, I could go down the list of all of the things that he said and done. I don't have enough time in this episode to do that. So I'm going to call this a done when it comes to this episode. But what I am going to just stand on is the fact that Joe Biden, although it was like (gasps) when we got the news that he stepped down after hearing that, no, he's going to continue this out. He will be continuing on the trail the next week. And then on a Sunday afternoon to get the news that he was stepping down, it was a little bit disappointing because you are thinking, what is next? But when I heard Kamala Harris was going to be stepping up to the plate and accepting the nomination, although I know how this country feels about women, and I'll talk about that in a separate episode, and I know how they feel, especially when it comes to the majority, especially of white men, how they feel about others, quote unquote, that don't have the same color as them, that doesn't have the same heritage, ethnicity, all of those things as them, as them. And this person is also a female. I know how they feel. If they didn't want Hillary Clinton in office, they damn sure don't want Kamala Harris in office. But if people want to have some semblance of some freedoms 
and not have every single thing that has been strived for over the years that people worked so hard for, dedicated their lives for, that have done walks and marches and rallied and all of the different things that they've done to achieve just what currently is in place, which obviously is not perfect. I'm not saying that. Then you better get your ass out there and vote for Kamala Harris. And if her running mate is Casper, the friendly ghost, you better vote for Kamala and Casper and screw all this. Well, what are her views on this? What are her views on that? We already know what Donald Trump's views are. We already know that his running mate is an ass kissing asshole who does not care about anybody but himself. And he doesn't even like Donald Trump. And he said that not very long ago. He said that Donald Trump may very well be America's next Hitler or America's Hitler, not next, America's Hitler. Can't stand him. But these people will sacrifice their own children, I believe, for the sake of getting what they want to live the life that they are living right now. And that's it. It doesn't matter that she is a biracial woman. We cannot question her views on this and her views on that. You better <laughs> you better vote now and ask questions later. And I hate to sound like that, like the questions aren't important. Obviously they are. Ask the questions, but still give the vote. Like, are you kidding me? So yeah, Donald Trump's views 100% was not surprised by anything that he said. But Joe Biden... No matter what people will say about his past, his history, the votes that he's done over the years, he has shown and proven, I believe, that he has been a changed man and has tried to right the wrongs of the past as much as he was possibly able to do because the president doesn't have as much power, well, unless you're Donald Trump, that, you know, to do everything. They could only do so much. It was supposed to be about the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch, but they want to make Donald Trump king of this nation and create a dynasty where they could have Donald Trump Jr. being the next president, and then maybe Baron Trump, because you know Donald Trump said that his other son is stupid. They all are, but he actually admitted that his other son was stupid. And who knows, maybe Ivanka before Baron, because we know how sexy he believes Ivanka is, and he probably will be like, make America sexy again, and have us saying Massa, okay, instead of MAGA. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how anybody could just say, well, you know, I have to ask some questions before I consider giving her my vote. Or these raccoons take the rack off of the front, and you know exactly what I'm talking about that are out here on social media talking about their voting for Trump when nothing that is in his policies, which he really has none, he is allowing those who actually have the brains to create the policies that he agrees with, even though he tried to distance himself from Project 2025 and claim that he didn't know anything about it, which is a lie. None of those policies would be beneficial to these losers who are two shows away from being homeless because as much as they claim that they make so much money the lifestyle that they live is extremely expensive and a lot of those celebrities and the people that we even see a social media post being shared about what they had to say I don't even know who they are it's some 22 year old so-called rapper where I would never listen to his music and the majority of the people that follow that person aren't even registered to vote so they're not even really a threat But the fact that they're putting that garbage out there saying things like that, saying Trump is a gangster. Yeah, don't you know that if you showed up in front of Mar-a-Lago property, they would be calling the police and getting your ass locked up because he definitely does not resonate with you. All right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. (laughs) 